Hi everyone, it's Kate here and welcome to this tutorial. We will be drawing sea foam and this is a reference photo that I found on Pixabay. You can download it from there or it's also available on my Patreon as well as the full real-time tutorial that is for this um, video. And I am using sandpaper and this is 800 grit. Uh, make sure that you have sandpaper that is not too rough because otherwise it's going to chew up your pastels and also your fingers. And I will be using a wet underpainting because when you apply any liquid to the pastels it makes them darker. So I'm just using plain water and applying it onto the lower layer of the dry pastel. So what I'm doing, I'm applying a dark blue in the areas that are the darkest and I will be mixing it in with some um, darker greens as well and over the top when this layer is dry after i washed it with water i will be adding already the lights this way i avoid mixing lights and darks together creating mud and i am also um, boosting that darkness in my darker areas so i don't need a very like black pastel i can still use my dark blue but it's going to look a lot darker than the dry version of the pastel i'm also adding just a bit of that black in the corners because i want to create a bigger contrast between the left side and the right side which is going lighter then i'm taking water and i am applying the water in these brush strokes that go into different directions this way i will be able to portray the uh, stream inside the water kind of um, giving already the illusion of this movement so depending on the image that you are trying to portray sometimes you need a very smooth background but for this i wanted to create this kind of a movement sense of movement already with the background then i'm starting to select my colors and i will be using very few white for this so as i said uh, in my previous tutorials i really like using colors in the lightest areas so i'm using the light greens and also some lighter kind of warm greens and first i am adding those lighter areas this is the parts where the stream kind of carries the foam under the water and creates those lighter pockets of color and i really like how uh, you can shape the movement with your fingers after you apply pastel onto the paper and you can see that it doesn't mix with the darks underneath that much and creates a beautiful um, kind of glowing effect so this is the lightest areas that i have under the surface of the water and now we will be adding the top surface of the water itself so i'm applying these light greens and these are a yellower greens and i am creating a pattern you don't have to follow the photo in fact um, i'm just looking at the photo to get some sort of uh, reference here but you don't have to follow the exact wa water um, pattern you can continue by just going with how you feel um, the foam is shaping on the water and it's kind of more of an abstract um, drawing here so it's also very similar to meditation because you just um, create these patches uh, abstract patches of um, colorful blobs and I'm also adding those little thin um, kind of veins of foam uh, in those uh, darker puddles in between the light areas just to create that illusion of the foam on the water so this is um, the lighter green that I'm using and I will be also adding some even yellower greens as well so you can see that the layer underneath looks already as if um, there is the water kind of foaming and moving and the foam is kind of on the surface of the water also, I wanted to say that um, I always mention this, but if you do not want to do this on sandpaper, you can always um, work on such papers that allow you to do an underpainting. And these would be pastel matte or um, Canson Mutant Touch or also UART. But be careful with Sennelier Lacarte. It does not allow you to add liquid to it. So then I am adding the sharper border edges um, in between uh, around the darker puddles of water in between the light areas and this is just another color uh, yellow or green that I'm using just to create the variety 
I hope that you enjoyed this little video and as I said I have the full version of the tutorial narrated on my Patreon so check that out and for more videos also check out my YouTube channel here. So I have to say thank you for watching this video and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. For now this is it, I will see you in the future videos, bye!